Exploring the deep sea is still today like exploring some weird alien realm and there are still things that when scientists see for the first time are like uh, yeah, I don't know what to make of that Now it is true to say that much of the deep sea still remains unexplored and undiscovered today we kind of have a vague idea of what the whole Earth sea floor looks like thanks to satellites. So we know like where the big mountain ranges and where the deepest parts are, etc. But only about a quarter of the Earth sea floor has been mapped with any kind of high resolution with things like sonar beams attached to ships. So there's still a lot of underwater structures that we're discovering. And even less of these habitats have been seen with the human eye through things like submarines or fun little robots that marine biologists operate called ROVs from the ship. Because of this, scientists estimate that there are up to 1 million species that live in our ocean, but we've only discovered about a third of them. So I think it's safe to say that as marine biologists explore the deep sea, finding new species is like a dime a dozen. It's a very common thing. What is not so common is when marine biologists come across something and they have no idea even what type of thing it is. Which is what happened last month when scientists from the NOAA were exploring the Gulf of Alaska. They came across something very curious at depths of about 3,300 meters. Curious? Curious. A golden orb. This smooth gold dome-shaped thing stood out like a beacon amidst a fairly desolate landscape and scientists had no idea what to make of it. Their guesses ranged from sponge to coral to an egg case. I was pretty disappointed that nobody put out the theory of doorway to an alternative universe although one scientist did come close and said that pretty sure this is how the first episode of the exile started I mean, just look at that hole in the golden orb, which makes it look as though something has literally climbed its way out of it and into our world. The scientists used the camera on the robot to peer into this hole, but it still didn't offer any clues. They used the robot's arm to scratch the surface of the golden orb and found that it was quite soft and wispy. Still completely stumped, they suctioned up a sample of it to bring to surface to run further tests. Even when it was on board the ship, the golden orb still remained a mystery. Now revealing more of a yellowish brown color, the only thing scientists could confidently state about it was that it was biological in origin. They had no idea if it was a known species, an unknown species, an egg case of an underwater sea creature, an unknown life history stage of an underwater animal. They just had no idea. I think now the most popular theory is that it is an egg laid by some kind of underwater animal, whether known or unknown, given it was soft and skin-like and had this hole in it. But that's got to be a pretty big mama to lay an egg that is 10 centimeters in diameter. But the deep sea is home to some serious giants, so it wouldn't be surprising. And still a month later, today there has been no further update on what this golden orb was. My guess is that they're either still running their tests and they still have no idea or it's something super exciting and they're waiting to do a big reveal when they publish it in scientific literature. Or it's been confiscated by the US Secret Service. Either <laughs> way, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. And it really still boggles my mind how there is so much we don't know and understand about deep sea ecosystems, the kinds of animals that live in them, how they function. It's just crazy. And it definitely reiterates that we should not start deep sea mining on an industrialized scale. For those who missed one of my recent videos, I'll link it, link it up above and below. There has been a lot of talks recently on opening up deep sea mining on an industrial scale. These have been postponed for now, thankfully, but I really hope that when they start these talks again, logic will prevail over greed because these really special ecosystems and habitats and animals deserve not to be destroyed for our financial gain. So from underwater salt lakes to hydrothermal vents that spew out boiling hot water to fish that look like they come from nightmares and octopus that look like they come from outer space and to deep sea giants that grow bigger than you could possibly imagine. The deep sea is a place of wonder and magic. And this golden orb thing, whatever it may be, is yet just another chapter in that magic.
And one last quick thing before we wrap up, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have become an affiliate for Nautilus Science Connected, which is a very, very cool science magazine. So if you're interested in stories like this and any other kinds of cool stories that come from science, please check out the link below to look at their digital platform and please use the link so that you can support your favorite ocean YouTuber. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.